Hi, I'm Marlena. I have been doing ballet for the past three years with Patricia at Pointed Ballet Academy on Zoom. And uh, I am super grateful to be here and to talk about um, what we did this week. Good. Okay. So um, this week, we're still working on your variation. You're working on Sugar Plum Fairy. You're also starting to incorporate more point work. So this week, we finished. Um, you finished learning the entire variation on Demi Point, which I think is very important. Um, I, I think mastering Demi Point um, first is important. Not everyone agrees with that, but I have my reasons for it. Um, and now you're also did the first half on point. So you have the first half of the variation of sugar plum on point, and then you have the second half to go. Um, how are you feeling about this week so far? I feel more confident in the first half. Uh, and now, now that we're working more the second half, I, I think I have more work to do there, uh, just with getting the choreography in my body. Um, and I definitely agree with starting on demi point before point, just, just for me, just memorizing the choreography, just so I don't have to think of one extra thing while I'm on point, which is hard enough. If I didn't know the choreography and I'm on point trying to remember the choreography and do point, I don't think it would be as successful as it's been. <laughs> um, so I appreciate learning on demi point, getting the choreography in my body, getting the technique solid on demi point and then putting it on point. So it's just one less thing to worry about. Been feeling a lot uh, of the energy required for the variation. Uh, and we've been doing some speed throughs where we just we just run the the variation like four times in a row. Um, no break in between just to, to get me used to the amount of energy uh, that it takes and, and building building that cardio. What is the um, stamina run? So like like you said, we run you through the very at least part of the variation several times so that you can build that stamina how are you doing with that how is that impacting you it's it's tiring <laughs> it's tiring for sure um but I think it's it's challenging me to maintain that level of performance and uh you know you stay in character and you perform even when you're dead tired um kind of pushing yourself to to not not get so hung up in how tired you are because then that's gonna that's gonna show through in the performance um so getting used to feeling that and yet almost ignoring it in order to perform if that makes sense um so this week in bar were um I have made your bar super basic I have uh taken out anything that's too tricky and there were there was at least one day where I um, only had you go up until Ronda Jean. I was like, let's get you to Ronda Jean and then get you off the bar. And I'm sure you were shocked. Like, <laughs> why is she making my bar so basic? But then you saw that you had more energy mm -hmm. for point work, especially. Mm -hmm. So when I say like managing your energy, this is kind of what I'm, I mean. Sometimes um, as a student, you don't realize how much mental energy it takes to memorize a combination mm. or how much physical energy it takes to do um, an additional, like to do a second round of even something like Tondu on point or sorry, on Demi point or whatever, where you're kind of exhausting when really, especially for something like this, you, you need to warm up the body where we're still training but it's less about the training and more about like choreography and getting you to, to dance, right? So with that understanding, um, are you seeing the difference mm -hmm. um, in like, you know, on weeks where we're like, okay, it's all about the bar. We're gonna make you, you're gonna have a beautiful bar. You have a beautiful center and across the floor and all stuff you're gonna do class, you know, <laughs> with maybe some a, a little bit of choreography at the end versus okay, it's time to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, it makes sense. Um, being being more efficient and 
just smart. Like if, if you have to use a ton of energy for the combination, which is what we're going to be focusing on for majority of class, then why waste, waste your energy on a complicated bar? Um, save it. <laughs> You're going to need it. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so now that we're at this point where you are learning to manage your energy more, what are some things that you're going to do outside of ballet to get you ready for next week? Rest and recover this weekend for sure. Um, rolling out, stretching, um, that's part of recovering. Um I think also just mentally preparing. Uh, I know we're, uh, what helps me a lot too with the energy um, is being in character. Um, and we've played with a couple different types. Um, I know we played with like a, um, a flight attendant type persona, um, like a Kimmy Schmidt type persona. So when I think of just being in that, kind of upbeat, uh, energetic character, then that helps with my energy. Um, so I was thinking about doing some research this weekend into kind of more characters like that, that I can draw from. Um, cause I think that helps not only with the performing aspect and the performance quality and the character, but also helping with the energy. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to be doing that this weekend too. And then as far as uh, technique goes, what is something that is just killing you right now where you're like, I don't know if I'm ever going to get this. Um, possibly the double inside turn um, before the the little um, bores back into the corner. Okay, so um, the double, it's a double PK on the Dawn turn, everyone, or double PK pirouette, however you want to um, think of it. I, I'm feeling better about the hops on point. Um, it's, I, I just worry if, if, I mean, just kind of anything with point, if one little thing is off, I feel that it'll impact the whole rest. Mm -hmm. uh, so that can be worrisome. Um, so if I drop, a, just a hair of weight on the jumps, then, oh, then the sautés are going to be off and then everything's off. Um, so that with point work is a little scary. Okay. So we have those two things. So with the, the inside turn one, it does not have to be a double. It can be a clean single and you do a beautiful clean single that lands wonderfully. And if you only stay there for now, that's fine. However, um, for you, something I think you're going to truly benefit from is playing a little bit more with your turn. Uh, you get really stuck with almost getting inside of yourself. So it kind of uh, halts your body. Like you're, you're so frozen, like, okay, have to do this exactly right. Instead of allowing yourself freedom when you turn. That's what makes turning so wonderful in the first place is that you feel this uh, amount of freedom. Now, obviously physiology, physics matter. So we'll go over the mechanics of it. From what I saw from you, it seems like you just need a bit more because it's a turn that is on the standing right leg. Um, so you do need to activate your turnout um, in your fondue a lot more and then even more when you go up into your standing leg. And then uh, we'll go over Posse placement could it could be that you know we just need to level off your posse a little bit more so that's a piece of advice for next week of course I will talk you through that in class <laughs> and then the second thing for uh, the hops on point um, one thing that I know I'm working on uh, with my hops on point is keeping the butt engaged keeping that underneath and a lot of times I think when we're hopping on point we want you know, there's like this like little kid bouncy thing. And because of that, we kind of like let the mm -hmm. under butt go. And we also tend to let the core go instead of jumping from them, used the engaged core, used the engaged um, glutes to jump, jump, jump. And then 
once you land those jumps, like you, the first two sequences, you land in a saute, right? You land in a jeté, a saute, jeté. Um, so you have one foot that's flat. And if you do not connect your heel to the ground, if you do not connect that heel, you're going to zap your energy. I was experimenting with that uh, this week where I did it. I was like, you know, you do the hops on point, you do them well, and then you saute onto that flat foot. And if that heel is not down, you can't reconnect to your turnout. So making sure your heel is down coming out of it is a great place to gather that energy. So okay. those are the, the two things I want you to keep in mind over the weekend, especially as you're doing your mental um, mental training. Other than that, do you have any questions for me? Is Ezra barking? Yes. Okay. Ezra. <laughs> yep. There's somebody talking outside and he's like, protect mommy, Ezra. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no questions. I'm, I will definitely visualize the choreography. That'll help, especially the second half, um, to kind of get that down. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. You're doing really well. Um, we've got a little bit further to go and then you should be on your way. Honestly, it's looking good. Keep up the good work and I will see you next week. Okay.